Hi, I'm Anthony Bryan, Product Evangelist with Jscape. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable and use WebDAV, which is another way for your users to access files without the limitations of installing FTP clients or worrying about firewalls. This is Jscape MFT Server Manager, and we're going to go to File, Settings, Web, and then check the Enable HTTP box here, and click OK. All right, since WebDAV is a service, we're going to click on the Services node, and then click Add, and select WebDAV from the service type, and check HTTP. Click OK. Now you can click Apply, and Restart and WebDAV is enabled. Here we are in a web browser at the login page. Be sure to select Java Applet for the user interface, then click Login. Here we are in the WebDAV user interface, and you can click Switch to HTML UI to switch to the plain web interface, and then switch back. The WebDAV interface lets you jump to places in your local drive, Traverse directories, upload files, like so. Delete remote files and create directories. You can also rename files on the remote system, which is on the right pane. You can also delete files by selecting the file and clicking the Recycle button. You can also resume and download files. And one neat feature is Zip Upload, which lets you compress and upload either one file or multiple files. So here we're going to compress three files and upload it. Pretty neat feature. So, to recap, in this video we talked about enabling WebDAV on the server using Server Manager and using it on the client in a browser with the Java applet and some of the features you could use there. For more information on Jscape MFT Server, please visit jscape.com.